I took the shoes off because I was dead. Oh, wow. Oh, good for you. What a great... Wow, I still don't touch your height. That's right. That's, right. That's, that's wild. Cool. You are so astonishing. Oh, thanks. It's stereophonic. Thanks, I uh, went to go see the show in previews, and there was something I noticed in the audience, how uh, it was like a like they were watching a, a rock concert form, a rock band form before them, which is obviously the point of the show. Yeah, yeah. But it, I had to kind of go like this to people, be like, you guys, this is a play. They were unwilling to let go of this disbelief. I mean, you've captured the imaginations of these people. Wild, wild. Oh, what does it feel like on stage? Uh, it feels kind of the same way. It feels like uh, the, the lines blur between what's real and what's not. There's a lot of... Uh, like looking at my castmates and really like buying into something that is not actually there that I should be able to sort of like snap away right. but um, it doesn't it doesn't really happen there are moments when the audience really wants to break in and they're laughing really hard at something and in those moments you kind of have to like do a little convincing to yourself that like this is make-believe right but um, other than that no it's like it's a really it's a really weird beast this you play. won the Tony Award for your performance tonight. First of all, how does that feel to someone to say you just won a Tony That's Award? crazy. <laughs> Kooky. I'm sure it will hit me differently tomorrow. Right, right. now it's uh, very out of body. Right. But you have won for your performance, but I imagine that you feel that this is uh, the ensemble piece that we all... So talk about your uh, your cast and people uh, in the theater behind the stage who put this together because uh, it feels like such a group uh, concept. It really is. I mean, it is, it is uh, really inescapably um, an ensemble piece I've said for a long time and will continue to say that like my reg does not exist without Juliana Camfield's Holly without um, Chris Stack's Simon uh, there there are all of these different ways in which I relate to these people that I could not with the without these specific actors and on top of that also like my dresser Amanda Zane like when we're backstage together we have these routines that like launch me into the next yeah. thing that's happening and so it's impossible to parse that and figure out what is uniquely mine as opposed to something that's completely shared. You have a, uh, a very famous, like a 10 minute monologue in <laughs> yeah. the middle of the yeah, show yeah. that uh, I imagine is uh, different every night or what is that that whole trip that you go on? What is yeah. that like every night? I mean it's so fun to do. It kind of comes out of nowhere and it, <laughs> I think it, it just barrels along. It's sort of the way that I feel about it is that like like, if it is a song, it's like the monologue is the singer and like I'm the lyrics. Like that thing is singing me. That right. thing is, has, I, I feel like with really, really good writing, you feel like the playwright has invented you in some way. And that is really how I feel with that monologue. It, it's the kind of thing that shouldn't work on the page. And then it just sort of like bubbles and takes everybody into it, you know? My only concern here tonight is that you're not carrying a Tony Award. <laughs> so have you lost it? Where is it? What happened to your Who Tony? knows? What an adventure. <laughs> you know, anything can happen. It's the Tonys, baby. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, uh, why don't you take a uh, marker, a uh, color sure. of your choosing, yeah. and uh, sign your stereophonic poster. Wow. Cool. Oh, man, what a thrill.